The COVID-19 pandemic has truly affected everyone's way of life. With the global implementation of lockdowns and community quarantines, leaders from all over the globe have issued strict orders to limit human movement in order to stop the spread of the deadly virus. As up until now, the cure is still unavailable. A disease like this has certainly called for the immediate action of ordering people to stay at home. For everyone who is following orders, the first few days are bearable, maybe even exciting. But there comes a point where being in quarantine can start to get really boring and could even be depressing. Welcome to Cleverside, your source of interesting information brought to you in style. We're happy to have you join us today. If you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be the first to see our latest videos. If you are already a member, welcome back. Stay tuned as we're about to give you some interesting tips to make full use of downtimes. During quarantine, your usual routines may be at a standstill, but that doesn't mean that you can no longer be productive. While you are being an active participant of keeping safe and staying at home, there are still a number of ways you can keep yourself entertained and at the top of your game. Here are 10 easy routines to learn while in quarantine. Routine number 10. Start your day with a five minute meditation. You can start with a five minute meditation that allows you to reorganize your brain. Setting aside its relation to religious beliefs, meditation is an act that allows you to clear your brain and only focus on your breathing. The best time to do this is first thing in the morning when you've just woken up, as it gives you that moment to refresh your brain and train of thought, to kickstart your day at a peaceful pace. Routine number nine, put together a to-do list. Once you're done with the usual morning rituals, sit yourself down and gather up your thoughts by putting together a to-do list for the day. A lot of people may find this basic and would often overlook this, but having a list of things you're aiming to do for the day would give you direction on how you want your day to unfold. The list doesn't have to be tied to a specific theme. They just have to be realistic enough for you to accomplish within the day. Examples of such activities are cleaning out your closet, organizing your books, giving your pet a bath, and so much more. Routine number eight, learn a new skill. One thing you can greatly appreciate in the world today is the existence of the internet. And with the internet open, you're open to a lot of information. So why not make use of all this information available to you and learn a new skill? Virtual courses are available and ready for you to explore. So give yourself the chance to acquire a new skill and improve on it within the duration of the quarantine. Routine number seven, practice the minimalist life. Are you starting to feel like your place is getting more crowded and you need a bigger place? Do you find yourself buying stuff that you don't really need or even use anymore? Do you notice a growing pile of random stuff that you feel you can't get rid of? If you found yourself saying yes, you might have already developed the habit of hoarding. There's nothing wrong with buying things for yourself, but it can be an issue later on when you realize you're just buying stuff for the sake of buying and not for the purpose of addressing a necessity. Since you have nothing but time on your hands now, why not work on decluttering your place? Start by double checking your purchasing habit and work your way towards minimizing your belongings. Start a yard sale or eBay account to post your items, to turn them into money again, to buy something more of need. Routine number six, feng shui fi your space. Removing the negative connotations of feng shui, you will find that it's a very worthwhile way of organizing the placement of the furniture and fixtures of your home. There's no place else for you to be other than the comfort of your home. So now's a good time to maximize your space by following the systematic approach to spatial arrangement brought about by Feng Shui. Keep watching until the end. We are about to unveil five simpler, more achievable routines that you could be doing during this downtime to help you. Routine number five, get a healthy blood flow going. Having to stay at home for longer than a week shouldn't cause you to completely give in to the sedentary lifestyle. The World Health Organization strongly urged that people need to get their blood flowing healthily by injecting moderate to intense physical activities during the day. This is to maintain a healthy blood circulation so your body can do its wonders in maintaining cell level metabolism, stabilizing body temperature, and protecting the body from potential sickness. Jumping jacks, running in place, squats and planks 
are among the easy, functional workouts that you can commit to without doing too much or needing to invest in gym equipment. Routine number four, allow time to engage in a fun activity with people. Whether you're living with your family, your friends, or your partner, or even if you're living on your own, it's nice to set a time to engage with people in a fun and exciting way. There are lots of interactive activities out there that you can do to stay connected with people in a fun way. If you're living with another person or other people at home, take out a board game. If you want to get in touch with friends, online games are also worthy options. The key is to engage in an exciting communication so you won't spiral into loneliness. Routine number three, start a personal project. Humans are innately passionate. There will always be an activity that you will feel has an intense pull within you. That's what passion is all about. Have you been wanting to write a story lately? Did you want to get started on a travel album? Have you started doing calligraphy but stopped because life got too busy? This could be a great time to tap into that hobby you once enjoyed but never got a chance to get back to and consider it as a personal project. Routine number two, give yourself the extra love you deserve. One of the sad realities that you may or may not admit to is that back when things were normal, there's one part of your life that you've mostly overlooked because you were too busy taking care of other things. You may have forgotten about yourself. So, go and do the extra effort in taking care of yourself. Do a facial, give yourself a foot spa, eat something healthy. Just give yourself the extra loving you deserve. You owe yourself that. Routine number one. Take things easy. More than anything, in this trying time where you're forced to stay at home, the most important thing to realize is that you can take it easy. You shouldn't feel pressured about the things that are going on around you. It's okay to binge watch a series. It's okay to sleep in. It's okay to order some food. Get yourself a cake even if you like. Our world has changed so much over the years, and one of the things that has greatly improved over the years is the capacity of movement. Now, in this time where literal movement has been limited during quarantine, it doesn't mean that you have to become limited. We truly hope this video has become really helpful to you. If yes, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts about this video. Leave a comment below on other topics you want us to cover.